guys, it's Adrian Skylake Sue, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, kindly subscribe and then share the videos. If you get value, you enjoy what you watch here, please give me a thumbs up or click on the like button. This channel is all about fashion, clothes making, both for beginners, for intermediate, for advanced, everything clothes making made easier. So, just enjoy right with me. So we'll be learning how to make our basic skirts. So for our basic skirts, there are some measurements we need. You can check on the description for how to take body measurements to know the measurement, how to take measurements for your skirt. So the basic measurements we'll be needing for our skirt, our waist measurements, our hip measurement, our skirt length, our hip drop. It's very easy. Skirt making is one of the easiest clothes making in fashion. So join me to the work table. Let's get started. Okay, then, now we're making our skirt. The measurements we need are our waist measurements, our hip drop, our hip, and our skirt length. So we'll start by taking our waist measurements. Whatever measurement you're taking, you're dividing by four. Because the body is divided into four parts. So the, the, we are making a basic pencil, straight through pencil skirt. So we are using a waist measurement of 34. Divided by 4 is 8.5. So just mark 8.5. Then take your hip drop. Hip drop means from the distance between your waist to your hip. That's where you get. Just now you are constructing a skirt. How do you know where to place your hip? So it's your hip drop that will guide you where you're placing your hip. So you just put your tape on your waist to wherever your hip is on your body. The, line, the distance is what you call hip drop. So the distance for this person is 8 inches. Most, most times it's eight, between 7 and 9 inches. So for an average adult, it's between 7 and 9 inches. So it's 8 inches for this person. So on this 8 inches, now is where I will take my hip. So meaning that on this person's body, this is where the person's waist is. From the waist to the hip is 8 inches distance. On this waist now, take the hip measurement. This person's hip measurement is 44. 44 divided by 4 is 11. So I'll just mark 11 on this hip mark. Or to make it easier, I'll say this is waistline, this is hip line, and then I can remove the line. So you understand, this is hip line. This line is waistline, and then the next measurement is the skirt length. The length of the skirt from your hip to wherever you want your skirt to stop. So to get your skirt length, you just place the tape on your waist to wherever you want your skirt to stop. That is the total, total, total depends on you, whether it's on your knee, above your knee, below your knee, on your ankle, wherever you want your skirt length to stop. That is what we call skirt length. So you just place your tape on your waist to wherever you want to skirt. So let's assume this one wants skirt to stop on 22. So just mark 22. And then so on this one, 22, we call it skirt length. S scale then L. So for in body measurement, in case you don't have to take your body measurement, please check on the description box. I'm dropping a link on how to take body measurements. So you connect these points. Okay, then on your hem of your skirt, for a pencil skirt, whatever your hip measurement is, you subtract two or three. Then for a straight skirt, you use your hip measurement on the hem of the skirt. Watch now. Let's assume this is a straight skirt. My hip is the person's hip is 11 when divided by 4. On this place, I'll take 11. So this is a straight skirt. So I'll just connect these points together the, the waist to the hip and then and then the hem. So this is a straight skirt. What I want it to be pencil, to be fitted, the pencil skirt or a fitted skirt, then I'm subtracting at the end, which is this, at the skirt length, this length is the hem of the skirt. So I'll say hip minus two or three, depending on the stretchiness of the fabric. So let's say hip minus two or, or let's say hip minus three. 11 minus three is nine. So just mark nine here. No, it's 8, sorry. 11 minus 3 is 8. So, this is it. So, I'll say this is a pencil skirt. So, this pattern can serve as a straight skirt and as a pencil skirt. 
I will say as a straight skate if I cut this out now as a let's assume I cut it out now as a straight skate. I can use it like this now to cut on fabric. Then whenever I want to use it as a pencil skirt pattern, I will fold this part in and then it's a pencil skirt pattern. So that is it. But note that making your skirt plain like this is when your fabric is a stretchy fabric. So in a situation where you are using a stiff fabric, you have to add that for fitness. What is that? That is, is, is a design add to fabric for fitness to give it fitting at the especially at the waist or the bust but well, this is a skirt so there's nothing like bust so this is for waist so the fitting we're adding that so for adding that we have to add that allowance to this skirt so this is the waist measurement on the waist is where you add that so whatever inch you want to add as that you add it to the waist measurement and there's a that principle the principle of that whether on blouse on skirt or on gown for the front pattern your skirt your that should stop one on the front part of that should stop two inches above hip why for the back it should stop one inch above hip so your dad should not get to the hip any dad that gets to the hip and is not going across it is wrong it's either it stops one inch above the hip on the back pattern or two inch above the hip on the front pattern whenever the dad goes across that means it's a design that is going to the end of the skirt that is a different design entirely so on this pattern and like this pattern now you can make it for a material that is stretchy because the stretchy material does not need that but for a material that need that uh, you'll be adding that then it will be a stiff material and this is how to add that to your fabric so to get your dart line, on still on that video on the description box, you see it's, it's called nipple to nipple, placing your tip on your nipple to get nipple to nipple distance. The nipple to nipple distance is what we use in, in getting that line for every cloth making, whether your princess panel cut, whether your normal dart, whatever type of dart you're making, even your corsets, the distance, the dart line is gotten from nipple to nipple distance. So the nipple to nipple distance for this person is 8 inches, you divide by 2 is 4 then you add half inch because of the dart joining the dart together. So this person's nipple to nipple, nipple is, we said is eight divided by two is four. So plus half is four and half. So just mark four and half here. And then mark four and half at the end. If you want, if you want, but we'll not be using this part. I just want to do a straight line so that you just see what this is if you want. So this is the dart line. So now how do you take your dart? Whatever that you want you can take half inch here half inch here you can take one one here you can take two two here the bigger the dart the more is fitted so i just want to do for average skirt is one inch realistic one inch on this side and one inch on this side and then we said for the front pattern your dart stops two inches above the hip this is the hip line so we'll take to we'll measure two inch above the hip this is two inch above the hip so this dart is stopping here if it was the back pattern we'll measure one inch above the hip the dart will stop there. So this is just basically about that. So this pattern I've changed a straight part is normal pattern to a dart part, a pattern with darts. So you can use this pattern for your normal uh, skirt when you're cutting on a stretchy fabric. You just need to cut it following the normal line. Then if you want to add use it to cut a fabric that is stiff, adding that then you just add it to that, use the dotted line. So now we've added, we've taken two inches out now, one, one. These two inches we're adding it here because we we'll sew this two inch away uh, uh, inside. By the time we sew it, it will be smaller than the waist measurement. So we have to add this two here. So we just add the two inches here. This is the two inches and just connect it to the hip. So this is, so this is, if I'm cutting this now, on fabric depending on what I want if it's for a pencil skirt I'm cutting like this like this like this if it's for a straight skirt I'm taking this whole block out then if it's for a skirt that is a skirt that with that now this is I'll cut here straight for a straight skirt or like this for a pencil skirt but if it's a skirt that that I then I don't need this part because this one we added is the allowance for these darts I'll just take it like this for a pencil skirt or take it like this for a straight skirt. So this is all about skirt making. So the situation where you want to add bands to your skirt, whatever inch you want to use as your band, you just measure it out from here. So it's very easy. 
if it's two inches band, just made up two inches on the waist. Then you roll it. So you cut this out. This is your band. So when you are cutting this part of fabric, you cut here separately, you cut it separately. This one now you cut it. But this one you are not cutting it this length now. You whatever value you get here, you are multiplying by four to cut because your band is straight. But your skirt, you know, is packed. So assuming that here it's folded into two, I'm cutting on fabric, I'm folding on fabric into two to cut this for front, we fold it into two to cut this for back. So for your band, this uh, uh, band that you've cut now, just multiply it by four to get the exact measurement. Or you cut, use this band wideness now that you've cut to know how to fold your fabric to cut your band. But when you're cutting on your band, don't cut exactly this wideness. Add half inch extra when you're cutting. What is the half inch going to do? The half inch is joining this half inch. So when you're cutting this as well, you add half inch extra on top too. Both half inches will join each other. But when I'm sewing, you will see though I'll be making the skirt. I'll not be using this measurement to cut the skirt. I'll be cutting for a small baby. So let's do another pattern now for a small baby. So this is it. I'm not doing so much explanation. The child's um, waist is 21 and 21 inches. And the waist and hip is the same thing for most children. Their waist and hip is almost the same thing. Their waist set is, we call it tummy. So this is a five and quarter. So I just mark the waist measurements. And a hip drop is four inches. On these four inches now, we said a waist and a hip is the same measurement. So it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Then a skirt length, a skirt length is 11. So this is 11. So on this 11, I will still mark a hip measurement, which is, this is a hip measurement. So it's even a straight, the skirt is just straight because everything is the same. But I want it to have a little A shape. So this is more like also an A shape skirt video. I want it to have an A shape. I don't want it to just be straight on the child. This is a small child. So I want something free. So I'm going to shape it out now. So on this M of the skirt, I'm going to add three inches. So we said the M is 5.25. So I'm adding three inches to it. Those three inches. So I'll just connect it from the waist to that three inches. So this is an, almost like an A-shaped skirt. So this is how you also make your A-shaped skirt even for an adult. You can make your A-shaped So this is the skirt I'll be cutting for the child. And I'm using a stretchy material, so I'll not be adding that. I'll just cut this and make for the child. So I'm cutting this, and when I'm cutting this, I'm folding the fabric into two and cutting. So if you are using the other pattern we use at the back, we are cutting also for an adult to fold the fabric into two. So but I'll be adding band. So from here now subtracting the band just the way I explained. I want one and a half inch band. Or let me say I want one inch band. So I'll just mark one inch. This one inch now cutting it out to cut the band. So this part is the band. Why this is the main the skirt block. So let me explain again. This is the waist. This is the hip, the hip drop is 4, this is the hip, and then this is the M of the skirt. But since our measurement is the same, the waist, the hip, everything is the same, it will just be a straight skirt. And it's a small child, we want something that will be fancy, that will be fine, she can wear with her, her socks and all of that. So I'm, I'm, I'm taking it to be an A, I'm shaping it to be an A-shaped skirt. So what I just did was just add the added 3 inch at the M of the skirt and connected it straight to the hip, to the waist. So it will be a little bit freeness on the hip to the end. So that's it. So just to avoid there being pointing, you can just come here by half inch, come up by half inch. Just so that it will not be pointy when you mix it and then the sharp edge. And just cut it into. So this is just it. This is what I'm going to cut for the girl. So when you cut this, it's from this now, you are, when you are cutting on your fabric, 
for a non stretchy fabric we add we just added in, in the back the first pattern we made for an adult we added uh, we, we just added that allowance on this but when we are cutting on fabric you add your sewing allowance so your sewing allowance you just add whatever inch you want for sewing add it you want to add one inch two inch depends so the sewing allowance depends on how much you increase some people just with short time they go fat so they add more allowance so that they can easily use it why some that their size is consistent in a long time you can just use one inch because you know okay you might not even need to open the fabric, the fabric later so just this is it so if you are cutting the back pattern now whether you are using this or you're doing for a small child when you're cutting the back pattern you leave one inch you measure one inch with your tape like this this one inch that is serving as zip allowance so whatever pattern whether it's the first pattern we made or you're making an a shape like this for a child whatever or for an adult you measure one inch like this from the edge of the paper you rule it it's on this one inch now you place your pattern so this one inch you will sew it out later as zip allowance so it's this one inch now I'm using cutting the back pattern but I may, not, I may not be adding zip to this scale, skirts because the material is super stretchy. So I'm going to make it in a way that she can wear it even without zip. So I may not be adding zip. So I may not need this pattern. But I'm just showing that if you want to add zip, this is how you, how you cut. You, you measure one inch in before you place your pattern. So this one inch, you sew it up later as zip allowance. So for your zip, just measure from wherever you want your zip. But most zip, skirt zip is mostly 8 inches. So you just leave eight inches opening, then you sew this one to the end. If you want to put slits, you put slits wherever you want to put your slits, then later you fix your zip into it. So I'm going to be cutting this on fabric and this band on fabric. Just watch me. So this is it now. I've placed the pattern on fabric. The fabric is on fold. So this same thing you will do when you are cutting, if you're cutting for an adult, it's just the same thing. The difference is this is smaller, that is bigger. So for a child, when you are leaving allowance, you leave my allowance because children go. For an adult, you know, okay, I'm not getting taller. So wherever the length is, that's where the length will be. For a child now, this length now, I might even want to add more inch if I if I want the child to wait for a longer time. So children go. Then for the sewing allowance, it's better you also leave as much as two inches for sewing allowance because they can get fat at any time. They grow big at any time. They grow and they are meant to grow so. We create that allowance for the groups. So this is it. If you see that I left half inch, this half inch now is going to join the band. So this half inch now, it will not affect, by the time I use it to join the band, it will not affect the real length of the skirt. But if I don't add it, it means I'm going to be sewing from the length of the skirt to be shortened. Then on this end, I'm going to leave some inch as well. The inch I'm leaving is what I'll fold inwards as the aim of this if i don't add it to i'm going to be folding out of this to be shorter than this so that's just it so you just measure whatever inch you customize it do whatever you want so just cut so now i want to cut the band one thing about band is you see people holding this end of the band like this edge upper part this part that is resting on the um, tiniest part of the waist because the hair of your body and the of your body cannot be the same because the, as you go down it's getting wider so but now you're cutting a band straight and this part of your body is slimmer than here so to make the band relax on your body you just fold you can fold your band like this into two so that your cutting will be equal the major half inch on top like this half inch then you connect this half inch to the edge to the down to your coat you say ah, i have reduced the band by half inch will it fit in it will fit in perfectly because this is the part now that is resting on your real waist this part is the one that rests on the tiny part of your waist so if you still enter so to make it relax on your body then this part when you wear the skirt if it's not shaping you'll be seeing this extra space by the side so this is band so what for your band now this is the band you we brought out of the skirt and don't forget that this is because it's small like because the skirt was divided into four when making it but when you're folding your band you don't need to cut four pieces and start joining you want a long straight piece that will go round 
so you just fold your fabric like this i pinned it because of the material just fold your fabric like this then depends there are different ways to make your band you can fold it like this just take your waist measurements and then you cut it then do the shaping i said fold it to the shape the edge or you use this pattern you already cut out you use this pattern that you already cut out and then just do it like this so you just fold like this Into four, but into four already. And don't forget when you're cutting this band, add your sewing allowance because this is the exact sketch measurement to use in making this band. So you have to add your sewing allowance, the part that will fold inside, come together. So you have to add that allowance. So let's see. So I first folded like this, and then, oh, let me do it so that you see the band folding. So this is into two because I want the band to be thick. Bands are always thick. Imagine just using this as a band, it's too light. So it's folded into two so that it's be thick. So just fold like this. Let's see. It will enter. But in this case, I will not be adding sewing allowance because the material is stretchy. I will sew out of it and it will still be perfect. So that is the good thing about stretchy fabric. So out of it and still come out perfect. So this is it. Let me see if to enter. Okay, good. So I'll just cut this out. And if you see it now, look at this extra left. This extra is the half inch now. And join the other half inch we added on the main skirt. I just cut it from here. And then cut it from here. This is the band of the person. This is the person's waist measurement. So just to get that shape now, I can just do it again here. Now. If you see it now, this partner that is folded, I will fold it. Is this partner you're adding it? But this is the part that will be up on your body. This is the down part. So this folded partner is where you put this shape we did here. This shape. So you can use the pattern to do it, or you can just do it directly on the band by yourself. So I'll just do it directly on the band. I'll just measure half inch. On my own, and anyway, I know where half inch is. So I'll just do it cut half inch to this edge. Now. So this is it. So this is the band that will go around. So you see how stretchy it's, it's, it's stretchy. So that's why I didn't add sewing allowance. It's even, it has even stretched more than the person's waist measurement. So I can sew as much as, much as one inch from this. So if I want to, I don't want the joining of this band to show, I could just do it like this. Sew here like this. Let me pin it so you see what I mean. I can sew here like this. If maybe I've joined the skirts, but there are different ways now to join the skirts. I can join the skirts round, the two sides of the skirts. Then the band, I'll join the two sides of the band. Then like, look at that shape now. After joining it, I'll just turn it like this. Then fold it into two back. Fix it around into the skirt piece. Or I can choose not to do this. I'll just fold it around. Then pin it around the skirt. So then close here with one edge of the skirt. Close it straight together. So anyhow I want to do it. So I'll go to the sewing machine now and sew it. So this is the band now. I just pinned it to it round. So I'll be sewing it as well. And I joined it the way I said. I joined it first together. That edge so that the band joining will not show. So the only joining that is showing now is the two side joining. Because I'm, I didn't add zip allowance. But if I want to add zip, I can add zip at one of the sides so it will be a side zip. But I said the material is stretch nice for a small girl. So just after sewing the band, we'll see the band and fold, fold. After sewing the band and folding the end, we'll see the finished product. So when you're sewing, if you see, I'm not dragging. Especially for those using the black legs, just pull a little, very slight pull because it's stretchy. So any stretchy fabric you're sewing, don't by the time you pull, if you pull it out of 
because of the elasticity of the fabric, they pull it out of that allowance you gave it, and then the the roundness now will now be more open. Second person bigger than what you measured. So just a little very slight pull that you might not even know that you are pulling just to help the material move. That's why you're pulling. You're not pulling like I'm pulling it, pulling it. If not, it will go out. So this is it. Simply how to make your skirt. So this is the skirt. I'll show you like this. It's beautiful. And I hope you do same. Make your skirt. So if you have any comments, question, query, whatever, just drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Share share the video, please. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and see you in my next video. Bye.